So uh, moving to the next one, we have lift pressurization. We have an Excel. Okay. So we have the lift pressurization here. It is from your project only. The first point is like the most of the people do the mistake. That is the 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 height the height of the elevator. So first we see the number of elevator door per floor they are asking uh, because sometimes the elevator will come with two door uh, front and back both side we can open. So if you have something like that, okay, fine. So that's the reason the very first reason we are asking uh, how many doors uh, we are we are having here. So that that's the first one we can provide here number of floors and doors. So in our project we have only one door like you see we have only one door per one floor. So total we have total number of floor. So how I consider basement two, basement two, basement one, ground mezzanine one two three four five six and uh, moving further seven, and finally we have the last door here. So one, uh, two three four five six, and here seven eight nine ten eleven twelve. So total total doors I consider here. And elevator soft height for the elevator soft height. If you see this diagram from the bottom to the top of the elevator, this H level. So we have to consider this elevator soft height. For example, we do the mistake normally uh, when we go for the height. Normally, some people will consider the height from here. Actually, this is the elevator travel distance. Okay, this is the elevator travel distance, and uh, we actually need the distance uh, from here. Okay, so we should not go to the travel distance from here um, till the height. I mean the internal height. Same like what we did earlier. So we have to consider from here 55 to 50. This is the total height from the internal to internal. The same like a staircase. So this internal to internal we are considering 55, 55 to 50. So 55.250 that is the total soft height 55.250 elevator soft width so when it is say the width here you see the top view the elevator soft width is from here to here the internal I need to consider so if you see the dimension 660 plus 1480 plus 660 that is a 2. 2.8 meter so elevator soft to uh, one minute elevator soft to width and length i think this one they are considered okay so uh, for example if i say with here also this side also we need to consider the dimension from here to here and here to here so this dimension 1298 we can see 1298 plus 1298 plus 1502 so 2.8 meter this side and 2.9 meter this side so this both width and uh, length we have to consider 2.9 meter and 2.8 meter and minimum pressure difference yesterday i told you uh, I, I don't know how, how much you remember uh, for the spindler building minimum 12.5 uh, pascal we have to consider so that 12.5 uh, pascal uh, like, like you see here the same i consider but yesterday i told you one more point also so if your uh, client is accepting then fine then fine you can go with the minimum uh, uh, minimum 4 pascal extra so that minimum 4 pascal extra only I have shown I have considered here but if your client is selling no no issue for that one like uh, we can consider directly the directly as it is then okay then no issue for that one you can directly you can directly go with the, the minimum requirement of the standard so in this case we are going with the, uh, 60 uh, means it's, it's an optional one okay but normally i normally consider like uh, a 4 pascal extra only i don't reduce that one so 16.5 uh, pascal overall we are considering so an elevator door width so elevator door width uh, here for example now we discuss about the soft only now coming to elevator door so the width we have to consider only the internal door width from here to here so this one like you see is 1200 this is the elevator door width we should not consider the full internal that is the soft only the elevator door width means from here to here we need to consider exactly and elevator door height means for example here you see the door height we have given here from the internal finished floor level to the internal frame 
sorry from in, uh, sorry this is not the frame this is the top level so here is the door this is the door height so this door height is 2200 and here door width is 1200 so these two dimension we have to add here 1200 and 2200 okay so these two dimension we are adding here now coming to the uh, further points like uh, first we are going to find out air volume required uh, when all doors are closed I mean the leakage between the doors so this one I told you uh, the lift is fully closed so there will be some leakage uh, in the door frame and uh, door so that leakage we have to consider so leakage from one door 0 0.052 leakage from one door so I will go to that uh, lift pressurization yesterday I uh, opened that I showed you that one the lift pressurization uh, theoretical class Yeah, here. So here you, you see this one, um, the lift landing door, lift standard leakage area, standard leakage area, we normally consider 0 0.06 meter square. If you say accurately, it is 0 0.052 meter square, there's the leakage from one door, we are assuming like that. So leakage, uh, same staircase also, we assumed one value, the leakage rate. So lift also, we are assuming leakage from one door, 0 0.052 leakage from all the door we have to multiply with the number of door so this is multiplying with the total number and pressure differential i consider 4 pascal safety so 16.5 and root of p i mean root of p uh, because the answer you use the formula it's a formula is root of p so the root of p this answer and coming to the q1 we are applying all the value 0 0.839 is a constant value multiply with the a and e a and e, sorry ae 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 means a leakage from all door that one and multiply it to root of p. So we got the answer here. Air volume leakage from uh, elevator walls. So air volume leakage from elevator wall. So this one, uh, yesterday I told you the elevator wall, for example, here, if you see this one, we have given elevator, you see the third one, elevator soft walls. So tight average medium. So yesterday also we told you uh, not only for elevator, staircase also we have the same issue is a fire rated arrangement so normally mostly people don't consider that one uh, it's up to your uh, local code and your local civil defense if they tell us if they tell you to consider yes of course we have to consider otherwise we don't need to worry about that one we can avoid that one we can only consider the leakage, leakage rate but you remember that uh, in the staircase pressure session i told you we have to consider number of doors so normally how many doors we consider as per uh, uh, as per uae's life safety code anyone Number of doors open? Three. Two. Mm. Two. Uh, two for the Qatar's. Uh, sorry. Two. Three, three for the Qatar civil defense. Uh, two for the UA fire and life safety code. So if I, if I say that uh, I need to consider the number of door opening, how I will assume that one? How can I assume that one? I can consider two door, three door. How I can assume in the number of door opening concept for the lift? Only one door, one only, only, only one. one will be open when it comes to the means yeah. where I am trying to escape. So that time uh, I will I can assume that okay at least one door uh, is opening like that only we can assume. Okay, so that is the reason uh, uh, we cannot exactly say that uh, this much door will open, this much door will close that one. So in the calculation we never consider uh, the arrangement like this like uh, one door, two door mainly for the lift pressure session that is that concept we are using only for the uh, only for the elevator sorry only for the stairs case pressure session but when it comes to lift pressure session we are considering is a is a closed surface and only the leakage we are assuming so the, and coming to the elevator wall elevator wall as a told is option only but we need to know how to do so tightness we always consider the average one we are not considering the tight one so 0 0.84 is the average and uh, the value I have mentioned 0.0084 and the perimeter. So we need to know what, what is the how many leakage will come from the perimeter of the lift. So 2 into D6 plus D7. So D6 plus D7 means you know that from where I am taking this value D6 and D7. Elevator soft, elevator soft width and elevator soft length. Okay, so that that area I am considering. That area I am considering as a perimeter 2 into uh, 2 times because length width is there na? 2 into length plus width so total area total area how much so this this one 
this one, the perimeter, multiply with D5. D5 is what? Because now I consider the particular area lift. I need to consider the height also. Then only the full height, the full height of the walls, I can assume the leakage. So first I consider width and uh, length, then I multiply with the total height. So that's the reason now I am getting the area. So this area multiply with the leakage area. So leakage area, you know that uh, the leakage value multiply with this height, the total area, you will get the leakage, leakage area. So this one, I am going to add the formula same formula then i will get the answer so qt the total air supplied by the fan is equal to uh, the leakage from the wall and the leakage from the arrangement of the the door frame and gap so the total will come uh, meter cube per second and you can convert to liter per second so this amount of air you have to supply from the uh, the top of the lift for the pressurization so we have to consider this one yeah any doubt